Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101 and I would like to welcome you to another episode of Mark's RV Garage. Today we're going to be discussing an important safety topic concerning RVers which in my opinion doesn't get enough emphasis and that topic is proper hitch work. After analyzing a five-year history of data collected through the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's General Estimates System, I discovered that on average there were 68,358 accidents involving passenger vehicles towing trailers per year. The average fatalities from accidents involving trailers are 446 per year. The average number of injuries from these accidents are 24,506 per year and the average instances of property damage resulting from these accidents are 43,405 per year. To me, this is unacceptable. It would be my guess that the majority of these trailer related accidents involve small utility trailers that the average homeowner might have, trailers used in construction and other businesses horse trailers, and of course boat and RV trailers too. The bottom line is there is no excuse for these kinds of statistics. The way I see it is in most cases it is a lack of education or understanding of what is involved to safely and properly tow a trailer, regardless of the size or type trailer it is. This video is an excerpt from our trailer towing DVD and although it focuses on larger and heavier travel trailers, the proper hitch work demonstrated in the video applies to all types of trailers out there on the road. Let's get started. Before we talk about hitches, we need to briefly discuss trailer tongue weight. Tongue weight is the amount of the trailer's weight that is pressing down on the hitch ball. Tongue weight is a critical factor in how well the trailer will tow. Ideally, for trailers that weigh over 2,000 pounds, tongue weight should be 10 to 15 percent of the trailer's overall weight. What you do is you take the gross trailer weight, which is the actual weight of the fully loaded trailer, and multiply that by .10 and .15. This will give you the tongue load range that you want to be in. Too much tongue weight can cause poor steering, handling, and braking. Too little tongue weight can cause the tow vehicle's rear wheels to lose traction and contribute to trailer sway. Hitches fall into two categories. You have a weight carrying hitch and a weight distributing hitch. A weight carrying hitch means that all of the trailer weight is supported by the hitch itself. Weight carrying hitches are used for lighter trailer applications. Too much weight directly on the hitch can affect the steering and handling of the tow vehicle. If you're towing a trailer with a weight carrying hitch and you, you experience problems with the steering and or sway, you may need a weight distributing hitch. A weight distributing hitch uses additional hardware to distribute a percentage of the trailer's tongue weight to the axles on the tow vehicle and the axles on the trailer. It not only levels the tow vehicle and trailer, but it provides a tow vehicle with better steering, braking, and handling characteristics. I'm sure that you've all heard horror stories about trailer sway. Sway is a side-to-side -side fishtailing movement. There are many factors that contribute to trailer sway, such as a poorly designed trailer, improper loading, incorrect tire pressure, improper hitch work, crosswinds, descending inclines, and when transfer trucks pass you. The emphasis here is a type of hitch work that can be installed on the trailer to dampen or stop the effects of trailer sway. There are two basic types of sway control, friction sway control and cam action sway control. 
Let's talk a little about hitch receiver classification. The gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer and the tongue weight of the trailer will determine the hitch receiver that is needed. Never exceed the lowest rated component in your towing system. The hitch receiver is the hitch component that is bolted to the frame of your tow vehicle. A class one hitch receiver is a light duty weight carrying hitch receiver that is rated for up to 2,000 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 200 pounds. A class two hitch receiver is a medium duty weight carrying hitch receiver that is rated for up to 3,500 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 350 pounds. A class three hitch receiver is a heavy duty weight carrying hitch receiver that is rated for up to 5,000 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 500 pounds. A class four hitch receiver is a heavy duty hitch receiver. If used as a weight carrying hitch, it is rated for up to 7,500 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 750 pounds. If used with a weight distributing hitch, it is rated for up to 12,000 pounds with a maximum tongue weight of 1,200 pounds. These weight limits refer to the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer being towed. Check the rating label on the hitch receiver. It will give you the weight carrying and weight distributing ratings. Towing your trailer safely involves more than just selecting the right class of hitch receiver to use. The hitch ball and ball mount also have maximum weight ratings that they are capable of handling. Hitch balls have three basic measurements, the ball diameter, the shank diameter, and the shank length. Ball diameter sizes come in 1 and 7 8 inch, 2 inch, and 2 and 5 16 inch. The ball size must be the right size for the coupler on the trailer you are towing and be rated to tow the trailer's gross vehicle weight rating. The ball mount is the removable portion of the hitch that slides into the hitch receiver. For weight carrying hitches, it may be necessary to find a ball mount with a drop or rise to help level the trailer when it's hooked to the tow vehicle. Ball mounts are also rated by the amount of weight that they can safely tow. An adjustable ball mount is used for heavier trailer applications. Adjustable ball mounts allow the ball to be raised, lowered, or tilted to compensate for trailer tongue weight and to attain proper height adjustments. Safety chains are used on trailers in case of a hitch failure. One end of the chain is attached to the trailer's A-frame and the other end to a permanent fixture on the tow vehicle, normally the receiver. The chains are crossed to form a saddle that would prevent the coupler from contacting the road surface in the event of a separation. The breakaway switch is designed to activate the trailer's brakes if the trailer accidentally separates from the hitch while you are traveling. The breakaway switch lanyard needs to be connected to a permanent fixture on the tow vehicle. Remember to disconnect the lanyard when you unhook the trailer from the tow vehicle. If the breakaway switch pin is pulled out accidentally, the trailer brakes will engage. Electric brake controllers are an essential component to safe trailer towing. The brake controller is installed inside the tow vehicle and supplies the power from the tow vehicle to the trailer's electric brakes. Hopefully this video will bring some awareness to a very important topic. Another problem I see with smaller trailers is that each state has its own laws and regulations regarding the operation of these trailers. Things like the maximum length and width and how much the trailer can weigh before it requires brakes. I'm not a big fan of the federal government regulating things that individual states should have control over, but when it comes to trailer laws, I do believe the laws should be the same for every state. Trailers need safety chains, lights, proper hitch work, and if it weighs over a certain amount, it needs brakes, period. It makes no sense that a trailer needs brakes in one state, but it doesn't need them in another state. At least that's the way I see it. If you would like to learn more about how to safely tow a trailer, 
Check out our Trailer Towing Weights Hitch Work and Backing DVD available at www.rveducation101.com. Join us again next time in Mark's RV Garage, and until then, be safe and happy camping. Thank you.